There's an old French saying that goes, falling in love is like finding a secret ballroom in your house. And I got to tell you, that's about as close as words are ever going to get to expressing how wonderful it's been to have a kid. Don't get me wrong, as any parent will tell you, the first few months, babies are little more than a squishmallow that shits and cries. But every day, being a parent gets easier and better. It gets more fun, more exciting, more worthwhile than I possibly could have imagined. And watching this little person, this little human being, learn and grow and smile and stand, it's so obviously the best, most amazing thing that's ever going to happen to me that it's a little embarrassing. And the great thing about being an atheist is that that never has to change. There is nothing my son will ever be. There is nobody he will ever love, nothing he can believe or do that will make me love him an iota less than I do right now. But not everyone is that lucky. There are hundreds of thousands, probably millions of religious parents walking around this planet right now who felt exactly the way I do up until the second their kid told them they were gay or trans or hell, even atheist. And thanks to culture or fear or upbringing, those parents voluntarily locked the doors to that ballroom and threw away the key for nothing. And look, I know not every religious parent cuts off their gay or atheist kid, but at the very least, they have to do a worldview cartwheel. They got to insert asterisks that aren't there into an awful lot of the shit they've said. They got to pretend not to hear it when their religious leaders condemn their child to hell in no uncertain terms. And when their kids ask them about a book that calls for them to be stoned to death, they've got to pretend that book is anything other than inconveniently bound toilet paper. See, religious people love to tell you that they can't them an atheist worldview. They can't imagine a universe where life just ends, where they don't get to boop up to heaven and play a harp with great great grandma for all eternity. But I can't imagine their reality. I'd sooner saw my head off with an electric toothbrush than kick my son out of the house. And yet, I have a dozen people in my life whose parents tossed them aside for a book they haven't read. There's not a congregation in this country that doesn't have a couple who cut the hearts out of their chest and toss it into the collection plate on a promise that has never and will never be fulfilled. And I know for fucking certain a few of those kids are listening to this podcast, maybe for the first time, maybe for the 426th. And if that's you, on behalf of new parents everywhere, I am sorry. I'm sorry your parents threw away the most amazing thing to ever happen to them. And if there was a hell that made any kind of sense, you can bet your ass they'd be headed there. But if it's any comfort, and I know it's not, if they loved you one one thousandth as much as I love my kid, they're already there. <laughs>